Agerbeck believes in drawing, and believes that drawing is a powerful thinking tool. As a graphic facilitator, Brandy supports clients by mapping out complex conversations onto giant sheets of paper. I've seen her do it, it's amazing. Brandy demonstrates the power of drawing as an author, teacher, and speaker. Based on her 18 years of graphic facilitation experience, she published the Graphic Facilitator's Guide, How to Use Your Listening, Thinking, and Drawing Skills to Make More Meaning. Or just make meaning. Learn more at loosetooth.com. And now, let's learn from her. Brandy, how do you do it? Choices. For example, uh, this question had three, four words, and I, my answer had four parts. So I made this object right here. Pick a color. Blue. Blue. B B L U E. Pick a number. One. Two. <laughs> I do by practicing, by doing things over and over. I've made hundreds of these as a kiddo, which makes it a lot easier to make this one now, especially when you want to make one out of a three-foot square. <laughs> Pick a color. G-R-E-E-N. Pick a number. I do? I do things by making it spatial. We look at screens and pieces of paper every day that are flat, but we are three-dimensional people in three-dimensional space. Uh, this object itself has three layers, the colors, the numbers, and the answers inside. And I get to use it in space and with, interact with you in this room. Pick a color. Yellow! Yellow! Y-E-L-L-O-W. <laughs> Pick a number. Six. six! Six? I think we did six. Yes. We're going to do... Make it visual! <laughs> when you see what you're thinking, you're able to see your problem from a new perspective and um, see the big picture. And I'm a big fan of the art school axiom, make it big. If you can't make it big, make it red. If you can't make it red, make a lot of them. <laughs> That's how I do. Thank you. 